Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the canyon. Welcome back to another installment of the Quick View series. Uh, this one could be super quick. This one could take a while. I don't know. What I do know is that we've got we've we've got a tag team. I would say back again, but a tag team together for the first time. Our boy Rusty, because I've mentioned this in other Quick Views, uh, like. There are times when I get midway into the video, the uh, Radio Link Cool 9030 is one of them, where I said, who is this for? I don't understand exactly who this is aimed towards. This is not a broad appeal product. I, I feel like from the outset, this is also, no, th this falls into that category as well. So the tag team are these two gentlemen. We've got, we've got a combo of little tire boys. These have the smallest tires of anyone in the fleet. Sub four inch, sub 100 millimeter. J Concepts Bounty Hunters on Rusty and RC four wheel drive. What are they, Baja MTZs? Mickey Thompson Baja MTZs. Uh, these have not been great. Uh, these are, are pretty great. So in a uh, in, in an episode of the tire exchange program, I received another tire that has a, a a questionably limited utility. This is this is a, a hot bodies rover, sometimes sometimes called an uh, HPI rover, because they seem to be distributed by HPI. Let me grab let me grab the nose of Yella here. Uh, this is a one point nine rupture. So these are very small, but uh, to anyone out there who thinks that uh, J Concepts uh, made of, of a little bit of uh, done a little bit of appropriation to make the rupture, uh, yeah, I can see that. It's it's one of those things where you know they changed it just enough. They added this shape. These are hollowed out in the center instead of solid, and they made them in sizes that are like normal, like. It's smaller than a bounty hunter, which is very small, and it's about the same exact size as these 1.55s. So it's like the smallest 1.9 I've ever seen. Now, the oh, let me lead off by saying all four are mounted. Here they are. Uh, they are very nearly as tacky as J Concepts Green. They're in the red compound, whatever that means. Like, they are very sticky. You will see all four are mounted. And ordinarily, I do a little, I do a little sh spiel rigmarole where I mount up the fourth tire to show how difficult they are to mount. Because they are so small, uh, this is a 24 millimeter, this is a hot storm, some of my favorites. These are particularly easy to mount no matter what tires you're trying to get onto the wheel. But they mounted as easily as any tire I have ever mounted. So they are definitely up there. And we've got, we actually have semi-directionality. You can either have A forward. So this would be A forward if this is coming at you. So you have this little point and then these points aim back and the little squaggles aim back. Now, if you ran it the other way, this direction would be, no, that's B forward. Oh, that was A forward. This is B forward. Uh, you've got the point back. Uh, the, the hook aims forward and the squaggle aims backwards. So I would think, I would think like that. We're, we are going to, we are going to start off with A forward. There's also a B forward. That, there's an A forward. We're going to start off with A forward and we're going to start off. Oh my God, look how tiny they are. Uh, they look like temporary spares, and we're going to test them on Eddie. I'm not. I'm sorry. We're going to test them on Rusty, because I think Rusty is a vehicle with greater capabilities than the uh, the noisy guy who's just out of frame over here. Uh, because like he's more of a real thing, so. 
uh, any 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 holes in performance to get, oh my god they look so tiny so uh this goes back to that uh very limited utility like who who is going to run these because to me the bounty hunter looks really small like that's that's a really small tire and these are way smaller than that am i getting them all the right direction yes yes i am yes okay okay so small uh it is a directionality that i mean with the lug size and how small the tire is i don't i don't know if i don't think that it would be immediately noticeable but they are soft really soft so if anything uh rusty might be too heavy for these we are going to find out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our trusty. We are going to take both of these gentlemen. We're going to take them out there. And we are going to test these rovers out. This is a quick view. As these are a legitimate product sold by a legitimate company. Uh, we can do a quick view and have something be junk. Because we've done that before. But... The junk view classification only goes for stuff that is, you can have junk that performs pretty well, but you know, these aren't $25 Amazon tires. The only place I know of to get these that I've seen is on uh, Deluxe Fab has these. Uh, I, I received them in, 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 as I said, a, a tire prisoner swap. So they're brand new. They've never been run. I didn't clean them down. All I did was vent them uh, 12 o'clock, six o'clock. Mounting them up on these wheels, and we're we're gonna see how it goes. First on this gentleman, and then on on this gentleman, because we've got to do some work on the little fellow. We got to get that MST to be more of a rock crawler than just a placeholder in the uh, in in the rack. I don't know. This is one of those things. I don't I don't know how to feel about these. They are so so small. Apparently, the two point twos are almost. The 2.2s are actually like just under the size of a canyon trail. So I don't know what the the, the mindset was here. But uh, I am anxious to see how they perform because these are certainly the precursor to the rupture. And the rupture is very good, just not very, very tiny. I think there are instances where it's almost impossible not to preconceive a notion. And, and this is one of those times... It's just, it's so small. Oh, it's definitely got grip though. Yeah, they, they grip like a rupture and they are so soft. The foams, uh, I genuinely have no choice as to what foams run in them. I don't have any foam even close to small enough to put in these. Yeah, uh, rough terrain is going to be a, a huge question mark because they are, they are so small. But yeah, they genuinely do just, look at that bumper, get it off, no. They, they genuinely do grip like a rupture. But like, that's so bellied up. And uh, you're really going to drop your CG on these because they are so short. Yeah, there are just there are just places where ordinarily uh, <laughs> the chassis would be free and clear, even on a bounty hunter. Like these are smaller around than a bounty hunter, which is a 393. And the foam is so soft. Look at the look at the tire. Look at that passenger front. Smash. They definitely have the grip. And stop. And uh, this video should be chock full of the sound of accursed ground squirrels. I think I've said this in a video before for years. I thought that those were birds. 
making that noise. No, no. The bane of my existence. They eat the plastic plants. Ground squirrels. I don't, I don't think we're gonna have any grip issues at all. What we're gonna have is pick the line perfectly issues because the, the breakover is gonna be absolutely terrible. Like you can get fully stuck. <laughs> there's, 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 there's nothing I can do here. Oh, I am afraid not to, I am afraid to fall off. Now, ordinarily, the rear end will get hung up right here on like a four, six, five. So it's really gonna get hung up here from these. I think these tires probably have the grip to pull this. And boy, do they claw. The instant that belly gets clear, away it goes. Like these have, these have an absurd amount of forward drive. And they also have like no ground cleanse whatsoever. Like if it wasn't gonna hang metal here. Yeah, any any moments where it doesn't look like it's gonna make it is purely because a hard part is hitting a hard thing. Uh, the tire has it has the grip of a rupture. It it is probably the pre-rupture. Uh, so they grab like mad. They're just tiny. I will say though, that uh, I've been hearing those squirrels chirp for so long. You know, spring is the, apparently the time of squirrel chirping. I've been hearing it for so long that I almost don't notice it anymore. The, the, <laughs> the grip, the forward drive of these is Insane. If I can, if I can get that rear bumper off that section right there, trying to trying to shuttle it more towards the hard way. Right there, right there. So close to the wood. These will find the limits, the limitations brought about by the geometry, by them being so short, long before they run out of grip. Like, if you were driving, okay, um, we might, we might have to modify number 11 here because number 11 is a breakover test ordinarily, and, uh, Right now, Rusty's breakover is terrible. He's probably got 16, 17 millimeters of clearance under the front pumpkin. Like, oh, I love, uh, side note, sidebar. When uh, manufacturers mention uh, ground clearance, they always go from the skid, the center skid. That doesn't matter. That matters in breakover, but uh, in rough ground, it's how close the pumpkin is to the ground. And uh, his pumpkin is as close to the ground as you can, as, almost as close as you can get it. But like, this is an open cell foam. Uh, the open cell foam is very soft. But Rusty is a guy with a pretty low CG. It's deceptively low. And when you combine it with a tire this short, I want to see if this is going to wedge it. Yep. They're just, they're so low. So like the capability, these have, because they're so small and because they don't have any like sidewall fold to them, these might have the most forward drive of any tire yet. Like you take the tread of a rupture, which is what this is, 
I'm trying to like paint a picture here. You take the tread of a rupture, but you make it really small. So it's gonna side hill better, it's gonna lower the CG. It's gonna do a lot of things better, except, certainly except break over. Honestly, from what I've seen so far, I think if it wasn't for the wheelbase, I think, like, it would pull this. And it's just because, like right there, slider is on. They, uh, an, an unthinkable amount of forward drive. But you have got to keep the, the thoughtfulness, like you, you, you'll watch it. It's not that the tires are catching. It's that parts of the belly are unhanging. So you're, you're getting, you're clearing off of obstacle. I don't, I don't even, I have no idea what just happened. These have so much drive. <laughs> Try a little more, a little slower, a little more left hand. But as soon as you think you're in the spot, you're 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 hanging up. These are these are these are bonkers tires. Little fella. Is gonna have some of the most, is gonna have the most forward driving tire of anything I've tested, period. Like far beyond. So, does this make me wanna get a set of these in 2.2s? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 2.2s of these will be had. Like right there. Are we stuck? No. I say it's not that they gain grip it's not that they're they're hooking up by grabbing it's that something is not is no longer caught they they have grip all day I honestly I don't know how I'm gonna get up onto this These things on loose ground will throw, will, they will dig a quarter inch deep slot. Uh, like if you burn them out, it will do a four wheel burnout and it will just cut slots into the ground. Uh, like, like you're scraping the ground with a putty knife. It's, it's crazy the amount of grip those tiny little bars have in them on these tiny little donuts. If the belly is not hung, These will go anywhere. But, you get where we are now. I'm just, I'm sliding, I'm sliding the belly side to side. Okay, we'll give it a benefit of the doubter. We'll give it this angle over here. Okay, rear bumper's over. See that slider just bothered in. Oh, I had it. This is this is a canyon first. Here is an instance where we have a part of the tire test protocol where the tire can easily clear this. But because it's so small, the rig Get over it. K 
can't get over it. Can't get over it. We come to this side. The grip is still astounding. Low speed is there a hundred percent. So much grip. It's so much grip. I mean, the ramp, the ramp is what it is. It, it goes too steep, too fast. We get into this position where there's just, there's no more grip to be had. But these, these are, and, and I'm, I'm still clearing mud. Because like I said, I was doing uh, way more uh, burnouts than I should have been. Ordinarily, uh, most rigs will get, they'll get up past the first line right there. They'll get just to that second line. And then what's going to happen is you're going to, you're going to lose center of gravity. Uh, weight is going to, weight is going to transfer over and you're going to go the other way. These, it's only because the surface is wet and I'm getting some shuttling. I think in a dry condition, I think I could get the front tires above the top line. So I tend to watch the top line more than I watch the bottom line. And it never, like it, it, it's, it doesn't look remotely like it's gonna try to lift the front end. Yeah, that's over the line. That's insane. That's insane. Because where that line is, that front line is like 70 degrees. It... And I can, I can modulate it. It's just, it's unfortunate that they're so small. If this tire was a proper class one, 4.19 inch, it would be the best, it would be the most illegal class one tire there is. They would ban it immediately. Uh, I, this one probably is banned too, I don't know. These, uh, these tires are so short, <laughs> you can become stuck in medium length grass, not, not, not even tall grass, medium length grass. The only thing that's going to stop these from being able to pull over this is break over. It does not matter how low did they get. You should have been able to, in just a few seconds there, there was a, there was a few seconds that the rear, there we go, that the rear tire was completely loaded. It looked like a chocolate donut. And as soon as those little crossbars got up onto the little chunk of concrete, it just it just fired all the mud out and they're basically clean now. So these tires will unload. But you really, you need to do what we're gonna do right now. Flip over. Did these pass the Canyon Tire Test Protocol? Yeah. Yeah, the composition of the tire, the compound and the tread pattern are uh, uh, matched together to make the most forward drive I've ever seen. Like the compliance is absurd. Uh, the the f included foam matches the tire extremely well. And I think the only, th there's one drawback. They're absolutely tiny. They're barely bigger than the grip on my steering wheel. So that is something to take into consideration. But I think these are gonna look actually normal on a 242 millimeter base Jimny. And I'm gonna flip that gentleman over, this gentleman, and we're gonna go find out. Okay, these, these look amazing. 
and see this this is why we tested on rusty because this guy needs more front weight for sure what a grippy tire the little fella is also very light there's so much, there's so much drive in this tire it's ridiculous Like that hang on that edge right there, I didn't bump it long enough. That hang on that edge was stupid, so stupid. Oh, I love it. Look how good they look. It's like a monstered out Jimny. Oh, how I wish those wheels were either black or gunmetal. Like the exact same wheel. He would look amazing with the same steelies that he was running before. Unfortunately, those are 155s. These tires are not coming off here. He just inherited the wheels and the tires. This is, this is the best the little fella has ever been to drive. There is so much traction. This thing is, this thing is wheelies now. That's two wheel motion right there. The position ability is insane. So I, I guess we answered, who are these four? Who are these four? Uh, if you've got the sub, what, 10 inch? Because 10 inch would be 254. So we, if you've got a sub 10 inch wheelbase, here's your tire. The drive, the amount of forward drive is unparalleled. It has, and then of course we got big block 540 in there, just like a clamp. How good are these tires? I must locate the 2.2s available on the internet as close to immediately as humanly possible so that I may test them and put them on a rig because if they are indeed in that 465, 475 size, <gasps> gasp. The drawback to the 1.9 J Concepts rupture is that it's just a hair over five inches tall. So if you're running a vehicle with things like, oh, I don't know, full fenders, they are not easy to fit. Oh, I thought, I thought I was just gonna clean that. Little bumper hang. Slide that pumpkin over. He is way less tumble bug. And I think that is because Hot Storm 1.9s in place of the little generic Amazon 155s, they're way heavier. So we've got a super soft insert, a super soft tire, a pretty heavy wheel. His, his unsprung, his unsprung weight is up. He can self right now. He can get way more leaned out before he falls over. It's almost predictable now. These tires are going to enable the fella here. We've got a, that catch on that ledge right there is delicious. Uh, they have turned this guy into a potential rock crawler. I think that this guy is no longer uh, the weakest of the fleet, honestly. I mean, you know, tight gates, no problem. Hot bodies, Rover, 1.9 recommended these are baby these are canyon certified these are that good mountability a plus forward drive a plus plus Rem take into account there is a single stage open cell foam insert no modification nothing mounted them to some wheels threw them on this guy 
I felt pretty good about them on Rusty because Rusty could really show off that forward drive. But Rusty's got a 12 point whatever inch wheelbase and these tires are too small for that. If you've got a sub 10 inch wheelbase, these are, these are ridiculous. I, I honestly, for a second there, thought I was stuck. And look, if they had a black, if the outer uh, bead of the rim was black, might still have to shop for some black Steelys. I'll see what I'll see what I can find. If I can find a very similar rim to this in black, then we're we're set. I don't mind the silver; it's pretty close. These tires are so good. Oi! But we're back. Like holding that. Ha <laughs> ha! If you've got a tiny rig, definitely look into these. To anyone else. Don't go look for the 2.2s yet. I want to try to buy mine first. Don't, don't, don't knock me out of the game. Thanks for watching, everybody. What a, what a good time we had with these, honestly. When I was mounting them, I had, I had hopes. I had preconceived notions of, eh, what is going to happen? They're so tiny. But at the same time, I was like, oh my goodness. They're so soft and so squishy. And their ruptures, they might not say rupture on them, but they're basically ruptures. And boy, do they go. I ain't mad at all. Please do comment below. Like, subscribe, consider channel membership, etc. Canyon certified. We, we, don't, we don't throw it around lightly. What? How is that? Oh my goodness. So, unlike some tires where it is definitely a combination of tread pattern and compound, and some tires are more about compound and some tires are more about tread pattern, uh, we still don't know yet. We still don't know. Uh, the rupture tread pattern is obviously one that works really well, but the red, this hot body's red, compound feels very close to J concepts green and these are so squishy you can see there's the tiniest little bit of air down there in the front and if you get the let's see if I can get it up on the sign if you can get that tire I mean I just said can I get it up on a an acrylic sign yeah these are these are mental and you can see that smush this rig is under, I think he's right at five pounds. So, mm, yeah. I'm so glad these came into my life. Thank you all as well for coming into my life. We will uh, we'll see you in the next one. In between now and then, please do your very best. Have a good one, everybody. Uh, come back and see us again soon. You never know what's going to happen next. You know how you never know? Because even 